That's some talent. She's got the moves. Okay. okay, so they just all live in this house like Big Brother? <laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> We have something crazy planned for the rest of the Hype House members and most- Hype of House? So we ordered a bunch of trampolines and we're gonna go pick up trampolines. the Trampolines. I we're broke my ankle on a damn trampoline. A trampoline. And we're turning the entire Hype House into a trampoline park. Rylan's the first jumper. No jumping in the house. So we did something in the house. I didn't even know you guys were coming. <laughs> <laughs> what am I watching? Is this like another Team 10 no, no. scenario? <laughs> No way. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of guys. Look like college students or something. This is like a More trampoline. college dorm room situation here. Here. You, I, 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 what's your reaction for this? That was so cool. So while you were gone, we all decided to do something. We? We. <laughs> the entire house decided to do something. Okay. Okay, so they just all live in this house like Big Brother? Oh my god. <laughs> this is lit! Get the fuck out! Yes! It does look totally fine. Oh, be careful. <laughs> no, just be careful. Isn't this so much fun? Gosh, they really don't. Obviously, no parents live here. Oh, okay. Woo! Look at him go, man, huh? Uh, my mom uh, vibes are just I can do that. off the charts right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd be puking right now. Click the subscribe button. There's gonna be a lot of content coming very soon. And if you guys enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys you in the next video. video. Peace! Good times. I probably would have done that to my house if I had that big of a house when I was that age. Cool for them, but I'm just like, I can't like unmomify myself. That really seems unsafe. Have we tested this out? There's a lot of kids home in the middle of the day, so I assume they're all just, you know, Racking up that YouTube revenue or something. These were a few clips from a recent vlog by a group of young TikTok influencers. TikTok, oh man, that thing is surging right now. So they all work together in what is known as the Hype House. The Hype House, okay. These kids are just f***ing around. They're doing sh that I would yell at my kids for doing and they turned into job. This house is kind of infiltrated the mainstream media a lot recently, so much that even the New York Times are covering them, as well as the Today Show. So we are gonna show you a clip from that. Oh, I can only imagine. This group of 20 talented 20. content creators is part Jeez. of a growing trend of young social media stars snapping up big real estate. So they can- Snapping up, how much money do these kids make? So they can physically be together to make videos 24 seven. And the Hype House is living up to its name. Since they moved in together in December, the Gen Z group has over I've seen their TikToks. Like, I recognize some of those little faces. That, I mean, you can't avoid them if you go on the site, <laughs> um, on the app. Has over 150 million followers, and the videos wow. on their group TikTok account have been viewed nearly 100 million times. Wow, look at them go. TikTok stars with endorsement deals can earn between $200 and $20,000 per video. I have to get on some TikTok, man. With endorsement deals can earn between $200 and $20,000 per video. Listen, I want to be an influencer too. <laughs> some are high school students, some in college, some just drop by to shoot videos. I don't like live here because mm -hmm. I wouldn't do my homework if I was here. <laughs> Good girl. We have a house of 20 people that post three to four times a day. Like we're talking about over 150 videos every single day from just our team. So I had like no idea that this existed. It's cool to You'll see that these kids are getting busy and they have a little future already. Like Raise your hand if you're a teenager still. So. Right. We put our These are my students. The internet, we put our life all on the internet because that's what everyone wants to see. Like one little mistake and then everyone attacks you for that. These are the kids that couldn't get in the industry, so they created the industry. I'm on the fence. I want to be like, no, you know, go to school and, and get a real job. But I mean, who? obviously, don't take my advice. I don't mind it. I mean, they're out working. You've got people faulting this generation for not getting out and working their butts off to make money, and then they work their butts off, and then they get chastised for that as well. I think it's bullshit. I think these kids, it's like, 
do what you need to do, man. So as of filming this episode, it looks like that there are 16 members of the Hype House based on who their official Instagram account is following, Mm -hmm. with just a few of them actually living in the house. Right. We don't have time to look over all of the Hype House members, so we're going to quickly take a look at some TikToks of their most followed members to show you more. Great. So we're going to start with Charlie D'Amelio, who has 35 million followers. What? And over 2 billion video likes on TikTok as of filming this episode. Wow. Wow. Talk about influence. I've seen her. I saw her, like, it was in my, my Google feed. It was like I was my news feed. Well, she's a good dancer. I mean, that's some talent. She's got the moves. And a, th- a billion people are going to do that same dance. All my middle schoolers are practicing these da- constantly. We're supposed to be testing and they're like doing the TikTok dance in their desk. Charlie is a 15 year old TikTok influencer. 15. And she is one of the biggest rising stars on the app right now. Since becoming TikTok famous, she has been in a Super Bowl commercial, got to dance with JLo, and was just on Jimmy Fallon. What? She can't even drive herself to any of those things because she's freaking 15. That's amazing. I mean, I don't think that happens to everybody. So uh, I'm glad that she has so many followers. Uh, She's doing something good out there. Girl, you know what I ain't mad at you? You better TikTok on. People are watching. She's making her money. She's doing her thing. She's making her mark in how she's going to make it. I cannot poo-poo on that. I cannot down that. Well, next up, we have Addison Ray, who is a 19-year-old TikTok creator who currently has over 22 million followers on TikTok. Son of a god. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> she got 20 million. 20 million followers for that. No! No! You guys! Come on! No, that's not that's not real! That last that one wasn't even like a good like pow- I don't have any lips, but like I don't know if I would really watch that. Maybe she's doing other types of videos that I uh, haven't watched. But just by looking at this, I'll be like, all right, cute girl making faces next. So Addison is originally from Lafayette, Louisiana, and she primarily posts lip sync and dance videos. And she actually originally gained a lot of notoriety when she made TikToks with her mom, who now has a following of her own on the app. Shut up. I'm not upset with them as people. They're capitalizing. That's brilliant what they're doing. I hope they're, they have someone smart in their corner saying, yeah, you're doing the right thing right now. Make that money. Living a normal life, selling your soul for fame. <laughs> I am so confused. And people want to see more of this? Bring me five shirts. Bring, bring me five shirts. I will get us TikToking. If you got like one of those attention spans that are just like really short, it kind of holds you. That is Chase Hudson, who is better known as Lil Huddy on TikTok. He currently has over 15 million followers on the app, and he is known for his e-boy style and fashion. And he's actually currently dating Charlie, who we showed you earlier. Of course. Talkers gotta stay together. Is that, they're not called talkers, are they? <laughs> they're young, they're beautiful, you know, people are, are, I mean, when you talk about like influencers and stuff, people want to look like that. And, and um, I still think the biggest thing, like in my house, if you can make my kids laugh, they'll follow you. Like if they enjoy what you're doing and they have some fun with it. I am personally not into this. I'm so confused about everybody wanting to watch people do nothing, but it worked for the real world. It worked for the big brother, and they are capitalizing on it with their own tools. After learning more about the Hype House and these TikTok stars today, were you aware of the platform and how massive it's become that people are able to rent out mansions and make a living off it now? Oh my gosh. I'm sure abstractly, I I knew and realized that it was huge. I underestimated. I knew that it was very popular. I was not aware at how 
lucrative it could be to rent a house like that. It never surprises me now how much money there is to be made on, on social media. We did so many fun things when I was younger to our friends and everything that if we had this stuff, we would be doing all this cool shit and getting money for it. So with many of these houses, some of the creators find themselves in trouble with their contracts, other members or more. So as an example, as of filming this episode, there's actually a legal battle between two of the members of the Hype House over its trademark. That is not surprising. So in your opinion, do you think that mixing business and friendships with people like this, especially so young, is a recipe for trouble? Or do you think that the pros of them building something like this together could outweigh the cons? Well, I think the pros can outweigh the cons because a lot of times, you know, this stuff happens as, you know, people get deep into their careers. So if it's just happening now and they can stop it at this moment, then it'll help them moving forward when it comes to like building those business, personal relationships with people. This is adult stuff like coming in at you when you're 15 years old and it might like, you don't know about that. And I don't know if the parents are involved or not involved, but like that's heavy, heavy duty. Friendships aren't even stable at that age. How are you gonna be business partners? Especially if you start having multiple people in there, then they're start, not only business partners, then you start having relationships, then that blows up. And then what happens there? I mean, it is a ticking time bomb. From that age, from 18 to 22, you're still learning how to be an adult. Do you know how to do laundry? Do you know how to balance a checkbook? Do you know how to hold a job? Do you know how to get along with people? So even though to the naked eye or to people, they're like, oh my gosh, I knew that was gonna happen. That time, you know, that you failed. Learn, get up, learn it again, figure out how to do it figure out how to make it better. These kind of creator houses are actually not too new. Right. A few years ago, the popular Team 10 and also Clout House, okay. as well as others, were created for groups of YouTubers to live in and make content together. Yeah, it was a disaster waiting to happen. As a parent and a teacher, I'm like, do you have a backup plan? And right now, the Hype House actually isn't even the only TikTok house. Hmm. It's similar to others like the Sway House or the new Fenty Beauty House, which <laughs> Rihanna just started herself <laughs> with her beauty line alongside okay. beauty-focused TikTokers. Okay, that kind of makes more sense about how the money comes into it. Oftentimes in these houses, the influencers and the creators who are living there are still pretty young, many coming straight out of high school or even still in school. So finally, as a parent, would you allow your kid to join a house like this? No. Teenagers, are, you're still developing as a person. You don't know what you don't know and what you want and all that. Yeah, I, I think as a parent, I would first of all look to see what the other kids are uploading. And if it's something that I know it's fair enough for kids, you know, then I would definitely let them go and, and, and do what they gotta do. Well, it depends um, on what kind of relationship you have with your kid. They have that, you know, that drive in them and, you know, you trust what you instilled in them, then it, it should be all good. I'd be really concerned because I, be thinking like, I want my kids to have a future and I want my kids to have an education. Fame doesn't last very long. And then you see a lot of famous people that end up broke. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, go play, go play. But you know what? I can watch it. I see what they're doing. They're not doing anything out of the norm, out of the ordinary. They're dancing. If they're doing not nicey nicey stuff, I could pull them out. But go have fun, who cares? Thanks for watching this episode of Parents React. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe. Bye. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure you guys go check out the official Hype House YouTube channel by clicking the link right there or in the description. And if you wanna follow our TikTok, go follow us at FBE. Bye everyone.